Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. If you're new to the channel, I'm JT, and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you're getting all of my new videos every weekend. If any of you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I was struggling a little bit with exams, so instead of studying, I decided to go thrift shopping instead for some cool photo props. And I think I really hit the jackpot because I ran across a century old Kodak film camera. Now this is an Eastman Kodak number one junior. This takes, I believe 120 film and it still works. The shutter, it sounds absolutely awesome. It looks awesome. It's in a little bit of rough shape, but for hundred years old, I would be happy to look this good. So in 2019, I'm gonna pick up some film for this guy and we're gonna see what it can do. I think I wanna do a portrait project with this and I think it would be an absolute blast. So today I decided I'm gonna do a photo shoot with this camera and what I'm using are a couple Nikon speed lights. These are some SB910s and I have some SB900s that we're gonna use. If you're doing any sort of on the go, run and gun photography, you absolutely need one of these speed lights. There's just so much you can do with it. You can use it as a key light, a fill light, a rim light. There's just so many awesome effects and these are super powerful for how small they are. And it's like having a little studio on the go wherever you are. So what I'm doing is I'm lighting this camera with speed lights. But if you've ever used speed lights or any sort of flash, you'll know that just plain old white light gets a little bit boring sometimes. In my video last weekend of top 10 must have photographer tools, gels was one of them. So when you're looking to buy new gels to spice up your photography a little bit, it can be kind of intimidating because there's so many options, there are so many colors, and when you buy them, they usually come in these giant folders and the gels are these huge sheets that are great for strobes, but they're not that great for your little speed lights. You'd have to take one of those sheets and hack it up into a bunch of pieces and then you have pieces of gel everywhere and then it doesn't work so well for your big lights and it's a total mess. So my tip for you guys today is to pick up a gel swatch book and I will have links down below in the description. They're super cheap and they just so happen to be the exact same size as the top of your speed light. So what I like to do as soon as I get these, take a pair of scissors, hack off this little piece of plastic and you're left with an absolute ton of gels, a hundred different colors at least. And I just threw them here in a little Ziploc bag. So it's super easy for me to throw this in any of my camera bags. And these swatch books are so cheap. I can buy five or 10 of them to have in every room of the house if I want to. But all of these different colors, I have different shades of orange, probably 10 or 12 different shades of orange, different shades of blue. I have different shades of diffusion that I can put in front of my flash to soften a little bit. And I just have so many gels here and they're so portable and I don't have to cut them. I don't have to rip them. And I just put them back in this bag when I'm done, seal them up and throw it back in my camera bag and I'm set to use them next time. So what's great about these swatch books is on top of having those gels inside, it has little cheat sheets for the transparency. So how much light it's letting through. It has the names of the color. We have surprise pink. The pinks are absolutely great for skin tones and really making skin tones look absolutely awesome. Just a little tip right there. Maybe I should do a giveaway, maybe give away swatch books in the future for people that shoot with flash. I think that might be a good idea. All right, so as you can see, I have a very simple setup. I have my camera in the middle and I have two strobes slightly behind just to add a little bit of fill light on that side and a little bit of a rim light or a kicker on the right side. And then I have this nice, soft, diffused, cloudy day light that's coming in through my window and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I have both of these flashes set to remote. I have commander mode all set to go. Let's see how just a plain old white light photo looks. Get my focus. That's not too bad. I think the light looks pretty decent. I think it could definitely look better. Let's throw some of these gels on these strobes and let's see how cool we can make this camera look. All right, so I put two colors on my speed lights. On the right hand side, I have a pinkish purple and on the left hand side, I have a greenish. So this should look pretty funky. Let's take a shot and see what it looks like. So I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. That's the awesome power and portability of speed lights. There's just so much you can do with it. 
And then when you start adding color, the possibilities are honestly endless. So that is all for this tips and tricks video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, smash that like button, and of course, comment down below. Let me know if maybe I should do one of these swatch book gel giveaways. Would that be a good idea or no? Until next time, get out and go shoot. I'll see you guys next weekend.